Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Retail, Dragonflight Pre-Patch, and our Human Paladin Leveling Campaign. Today we are in the wetlands, we have to go deal with some Dark Iron Trappers, and we need to free some gnolls, because even though we don't like gnolls very much at this point, uh, we're not going to let the Dark Irons use them as a slave labor, so... Previously we were, we were killing gnolls. Now we're going to go let some free. I guess that's some kind of balance to uh, things going on here. Hope you guys are doing well today, and I should say thank you for clicking on the video and choosing to spend some of your time here with me. I really do appreciate it. it looks like this guy would rather fight than have us go free his brethren. Let's grant his wish. Well, if we run the rest of the way, chances are that we're going to have to kill some more gnolls, but... I I'm fine with that if they're going to pick a fight with us. See, we have to fight both of them. What would be really cool is if you could move your reputation uh, with one or the other. That would be cool. Uh, who is attacking us here? Oh, okay. We've, we've drawn this guy's attention. Even though he's being slapped in the face by a gnoll, he's more concerned with us. Figure that one out. And then get back to me. I will say I have not freed a lot of gnolls yet. The, the area to free them in is a smaller area. Let's avoid fighting the ones here. Maybe if we go a little bit further, we'll be able to find just dark iron trappers on their own. And maybe we won't have to fight the gnolls every time we fight a trapper. Yeah, here we go. This looks a little bit better. Let's avoid the fray of the battlefield and we'll fight over here instead. That guy dropped a bunch of vipers. Glad we were able to deal with those swiftly. Don't know what kind of cumulative damage they could have done, but I'm glad we did not have to find out. Feel like we're getting plenty of keys. Whenever we start getting the cages, we should basically be set. Looks like here we can pop cages, back over here we could pop cages. Alright, two more cages and three more Dark Iron Trappers.
All right, everybody's freed. Everybody has been slain. Let's head back and we'll get these turned in. I do for you. Keep your feet on the ground. See you soon. All right, so she does have a follow-up, Yorla Darksnare. I found out who's pulling the strings on this operation here. Yorla Darksnare is directing the Dark Iron Dwarves from a camp to the east, and it might have been orders to have the gnolls to steal the Iron Forge's gold in the first place. What's more, she's a wanted criminal. She's been inciting rebellion and attacks against Iron Forge since Magni was still alive. She can't slip through our fingers this time. Go and get her. Safe travels. Okay, so it looks like we're going back. Probably gonna have to deal with some guys here, so let's stop and uh, see if we have anything still chasing us. Looks like we're actually good. Pulled her as well, so we might as well get in here. Let's do wings and divine shield. She jumped back and aggroed this guy as well. We'll daze him here. And it was a little bit of a fight, but we got her. Welcome. 
All right, a job well done. You've brought one of Ironforge's most wanted to justice today. I'd say you've earned a mighty fine reward. What are we going to get for our mighty fine reward? We can get a two-handed hammer. Which is maybe a little bit better than what we have on. Or a two-handed axe. That is probably not going to be good for us. Let's take the old guard's hammer. See you soon. Welgar's retreat. Prospector Welgar has been leading an excavation in the mountains southeast of here for quite some time. He had some raptor problems back in the day, but things were, are going better recently. Just the other day, we got word that he had to evacuate the entire dig site again. I'm not sure what's going on there, but I can't imagine the cataclysm making a quarry any safer than it was before. There's good dwarves working there. Would you go and see what's wrong there and maybe lend a hand? Safe travels. Alright, that's cool. We can check that place out. I remember the raptor quest and the relic hunting quest. Uh, but I thought that was down here, I guess. Maybe these are not the same areas anymore. I remember the quarry being more down in this location. But maybe the landscape has changed quite a bit with the cataclysm. Well met, Paladin. We've got raptor problems for sure. Sort of. More like the entire dig site is deciding to attack us. I've never seen rocks and fossils get so upset. Keep your feet on the ground. Listen, lad. Any good archaeologist knows the risks that come with the job. If you don't unearth an evil god or get cursed by wicked spirits at least once in your career, you're not digging up anything worthwhile. No, the real archaeologist knows that a little thing like fossilized bones reanimating into skeletal creatures is no reason to stop working. I still need those fossil bones. Collect them from the fossil monsters roaming around and bring them back to me. See you soon. Just, you know, walking skeleton raptors, no big deal. Here there. In case you didn't notice, the land here in the wetlands is pretty messed up. Floods, earthquakes, and on top of it all, even the ground's got a wild hair now. I never thought I, we'd be attacked by our own dig site, but sure enough, big chunks of it are now rampaging around, trying to flatten any dwarf they see. Be good. Great to meet you. I'm in charge of supplying this dig. It's not that bad, but having to pick up and move out so fast wasn't exactly ideal. Archaeologists need tools, you know. You can't run around pulling up priceless antiques with your bare hands. If you're going back to the dig site, can you bring back the tools that got left behind? Keep your feet on the ground. Alright, so we need tools. We need to fight Paleolithic Elementals and collect fossilized bones. How are we going to get into this place? Uh, we could maybe go this way? Uh, yeah, it looks like we can go down and around. Let's try that. So this was there where they retreated back to. But we can still get into the actual quarry. Alright, so we've got living fossils, elementals. Pretty much what we expected. Guys are getting a little bit chunky.
It looks like we're getting multiple bones from uh, each of these living fossils, but that being said, it's still going to take a while to farm these up, I feel like. Luckily, they uh, didn't skimp in giving us plenty of things to fight inside of here. Alright, that's it for the first round of questing here. I'm not sure if they're going to have any follow-ups for us. Looking around, I, I can't really see any other objectives we'd go for, but we will see. Talk to me. Watch your back. Well met. See you soon. Uh, let's take the chess piece. It's basically the same. Safe travels. Well met. Be good. Safe travels. The Anger Fang Menace. When we hauled up here to get away from the raptors, we put ourselves right next to a whole slew of Dragon Maw orcs. I've heard stories in Menethil how the Dragon Maw are even cruder barbarians than other orcs, how they strangle black dragons with their bare hands. I don't know how much of it's true, but I know we can't just let them sit up here in the hills. You've got the chops for it. Head east to Angerfang Encampment and take out those orcs. Make sure you get their leader. See you soon. Okay, it's like a condensed version of a quest that we would have done in Classic. 
and uh, I guess we can head right over there and do that. Am I forgetting to spend talent points? Just one. After you spend 20 holy power, your next word of glory echoes onto a nearby ally. Great if we are with allies. Uh, holy Agus, armor and critical strike. Yeah, we need to take the second point here. Should have probably done that already. But I think we're good now. Alright, so we need to kill a bunch of these guys and find their leader. Some uh, impressively epic music here for this little area, it seems like. Pretty sure she's over there trying to get help. Oh yeah, she did convince somebody to come help. It's not gonna save her. Yeah. <laughs> 
And it does look like our named enemy is further back here to the southeast. Gonna have to fight through a few more to get to them. Let's take these two. Might be the last. Oh, hello there. Alright, here he is. It looks like we're going to get potentially one to two adds with him. Let's pull him over here and see if maybe we just get the two adds. Seems like that worked. No, we, uh, we got the last add over there as well. That's fine. We'll try to focus on keeping ourselves healed up here. And we still have Lay on Hands if we end up needing it. Well, that was a good time to level up. Got all of our health and mana back. I mean, that's exactly what I intended to have happen, obviously. Alright, back to Welgar's retreat we go. What's on your mind? Alright, he does have another quest here. Who wards the Green Warden? The Green Warden was a local legend. Many thought him a myth. The Plant Man, protector of the wetlands. The Night Elves came here just to find him, and after they succeeded, they ended up settling down to the east. They've got a whole grove over there to watch over the Green Warden, and I've heard he's been acting up, enraged by the flooding and the damage to the land. The elves are good people. They could use the help of someone like you. If you get the chance, go tell the head druid what you've done here. Safe travels. Okay, that's awesome. I did want to go hang out at that night elf town that we saw on the road. And this is our breadcrumb over to it. So pretty happy that we came here. I enjoy the changes that have been made to the wetlands. I think that they're all pretty cool. And it's interesting to finally see these alliance zones, you know, 10 years, 11 years after the Cataclysm has happened. Seeing him for the, f for the first time uh, is really interesting to me. I think that most of the Horde zones I've seen, with the exception of maybe a handful, but the Alliance stuff, especially your earlier level, if it's not like Westfall, then I probably haven't seen it 
It's true for the night elf areas as well. First, let's go ahead and grab the flight point before we do anything else. Then we will empty our bags. And it'll probably be a good idea to set our hearthstone here as well. Goddess, bless you. I am honored. Go in peace. Um, hello. Not sure what your problem is or where you came from, Dragon Ball Grunts. But you were very rude. Attacking somebody as they check in to a hotel. Uh, let's see. Let's find the vendor. This place seems like it has some problems. We've just got grunts attacking for... Well, I mean, we don't want to say unknown reasons they're attacking because they're Dragon Ball Orcs. And that's kind of just what they do, right? Let's grab a repair and vendor. My goods are of the highest quality. We never equip the mace because I'm very forgetful. There we go. Same thing with the chess piece. Just basically gonna sell everything else. Alright, there we go. Clean inventory. Good luck, friend. Upgrades equipped. Let's go take a look at the quest. How may I help? Welcome to the Green Warden's Grove, Paladin. I am glad Welgar has told you of us. If you're able to lend us your assistance, I will be most grateful. May the stars guide you. Alright, so he doesn't have a follow-up, but these guys do. Let's talk to her first. The Dragon Ball Orcs nearby are fast becoming a nuisance. Their suicidal attacks on the Grove are merely annoying, though they provide my Sentinels with some need needed practice. My scouts, however, have seen them rounding up Black Dragon Whelps in nets. The last thing these lions need is a crude revival of dragon taming. Strike out to the East Paladin and cut down the Whelp Stealers. Make sure their folly does not come back to haunt us later. Del Madras. And the Green Warden here. The Mire Beasts to the west are not my brethren. They are symptoms of the Earth's disturbance, a foulness of rot given form. You would not understand. They take the shape of my kind, infested within decaying spores, forcing out flourishing life in the swamp. They take all and leave only rot. Nothing left. Soothe my mind, human. Slay the Mire Beast, cleanse the land, and perhaps my mind will settle. So he's just freaking out. Essentially. Okay, uh, 12 Whelp Stealers and then Mire Beast. They're in opposite directions of each other. Let's go out to the east first. And we'll deal with the Dragon Ball Whelp Stealers. Then we can double back and take out the Mire Beast.
Alright, well, that was pretty simple. I need to remember to turn off Crusader Aura. That's like the problem with using it is that I'm, I'm prone to forgetting to leave it on. Like forgetting to not leave it on. We need to go back to Devotion Aura. Which is just reducing damage taken by 3%, which is actually pretty huge. So I do need to be switching this. Or just not using Crusader Aura, because I don't really care about traveling faster. It's it's nice, I guess, but I'm not exactly in a hurry. How may I help? Uh, these guys feel like they have to go fight these. Um, they're being handled way out here. Boy, these NPCs are really ambitious. Look at this. I've never had a town jump to my defense the way that this place has. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're not having any of it. Maybe this is part of their little event, actually. Maybe this is not necessarily due to, due to us. It could it could be part of their event, or they just like randomly get attacked. Maybe we don't have much to do with it. Alright. Uh, we could turn this one in and see if it chains into anything, and then we will take care of the Green Warden's initial quest. What brings you here? Uh, do we want anything? Yeah, let's take the Be ring. Careful. We don't have any rings, so, you know. She does not have a follow-up. Assuming that I don't really want to be around this when it goes up, yeah, it looks like it releases a little bit of poison cloud. So we'll just try to be actively moving out of those. We can. They do keep us in combat, like if they're summoned and the enemy dies and they haven't exploded yet, they, they seem to hold us in combat. Similar to how a totem might. So maybe we just finish them off, is I guess what I'm getting at. They also don't seem to have any loot. Now, I don't think I've been able to loot one yet.
Now, if you kill them before they summon the mushroom, they have loot. Which is interesting. Actually, he dropped a locked box. Ornate bronze locked box. Unfortunately, we are not a rogue, so... We won't be seeing the contents of that anytime soon. Uh, we need to find... One more. Here we go. Alright, let's see if he wants us to do anything else for him. He does. The threat of flame. Flame has threatened me for far too long. Far too long. But it is no longer for the little no longer the little ones, no longer mere gnats. The fields burn, the hills and highlands scream, human they scream. The elementals brought here consume all life in their wake. They cannot stand, stop them, and destroy the bringers of flame. Maybe dealing with some fire elementals? Uh, you also have another quest now, for Pete's sake. The elementals rampaging across Direforge Hill are setting the very land beneath them ablaze. In a marsh like this, fire can find many places to smolder through the deep moss and peat. You must quench the fires before they spread further. Take this flower, blessed by nature's rain, it will let you douse the fires. The blossom may also prove useful against the elementals themselves. Be careful. Okay. Guys, we are going to do this stuff and put out the fires, fight the elementals, but I'm going to take a break here for now. I am still having a lot of fun here in the wetlands. I'm really enjoying seeing the ways that uh, all the questing I remember has changed. It's been a really fun time. Hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Let me know what you do think. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again sometime very soon. Bye for now.